Hi guys, what's up, Jason here, and welcome back to a brand new FIFA 18 player review on my channel. So in today's video, guys, I'm going to be reviewing at 79 rated team of the season, Akin Fenwa. Now, before we get into this video, I just want to say I am doing a 20k giveaway on Xbox One. So all that you need to do to enter this competition is go to the link in the description. Um, it's in the description of this video, and it is a link to my Facebook page. And all that you need to do is leave a like on my Facebook page, at Jason FIFA, and then comment on my most um, recent video saying done. And then eventually, I think I'm going to say Friday, when the new team this season is released, I will announce the winner. Um, I will DM you on Facebook, and I'll also tweet it out on Twitter. Um, and I might even say it in a video if I remember. So guys, that's all you need to do to win the 20k. But anyway, now moving into the player review, we're going to be looking at Ekin Fenwa's in-game stats. So we as you can see, look at the shooting and physical category. He has absolutely insane stats. Um, in the pace category, he isn't really the best. You know, he's really slow. Um, what well, is a pretty big con in-game, but he can sort of get around it because um, it depends how you do use this card but anyway guys this has been the in-game stats now let's get into the highlights so now moving into the highlights for team of the season Akin Fenwa. The first pro I could find with this card, and this is probably the most obvious um, pro with this card, and that was this guy's strength. This guy has 99 strength. He is, I think, the strongest player on the whole of FIFA 18. After that, the next pro I could find with this card was his heading. Now this guy is only 5 foot 10, so he isn't really the tallest, but for some reason he seems to win the majority of headers, you know, from goal kicks. And I think the main reason is just because you know his whole physical presence and just the way he sort of bullies and shoves off defenders um, to win the headers. I think he does that rather than use you know um, his height because he isn't really the tallest of players and then the final pro I got from this card was his finishing now this guy's finishing is actually very very good he has around 86 finishing and once you know you do apply a chem style to him that does improve his finishing even more it goes up to the high to mid 90s um, finishing stats so this guy definitely knows how to finish um, as you'll see from a lot of these chances and now moving into the cons the first con I got from this card was his pace now this guy doesn't really feel the slowest even though it says he's only got 60 pace I'd probably say if you're like he's got more like 70 pace because you know this guy um, he isn't the slowest but isn't the fastest um, I would expect him to feel much slower than he actually did but he actually feel fairly quick um, especially once he did you know reach his top sprint speed and then the final con I could find this card was his work rate so now this guy has a low low work rate so he's not really going to be making the runs um, or really joining in with counter attacks but apart from that this card was actually very very good and I was actually very happy with the way it did perform in the matches so anyway guys this has been the highlights now let's get to the overview So now I'm moving into the overview for team of the season Akin Fenwa. For value of coins, I'm only going to give him a 6 out of 10, and the reason is for that, um, just because at the current time of recording this video, he's going for around 40,000 coins, and in my opinion, for a 79 rated team of the season, that is just way too much. And I think the reason he's so expensive is just because there are SBCs out there um, do guarantee you to get um, a team of the season card in a pack. But if you do really want to try out this card, I'd recommend to try and snipe him for around 30,000 to 25,000 coins, because that's what I think would be a decent price for this card. Enjoyment wise, this card was very very enjoyable to use. I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10 in the enjoyment um, overall factor. Um, competitiveness wise, I don't think this guy is going to be good. I don't think you're going to really be seeing him in foot champions too much. Unless some persons you know using more like a mess around team. So I'm only going to give him a 3 out of 10. This guy physical wise and finishing wise was very good. But he does lack that pace. So maybe you could potentially use him as like a hold up striker. Um, but I don't really think he'll be able to you know compete in foot champs. Just because of the work rates and the lack of pace. And then skill wise this guy I'm going to be honest is terrible he has two star skill moves so he can only really do like ball rolls and drag backs he can't even do skill moves such as roulette so I'm only going to give him a 1 out of 10 um, for scaling but actually overall this guy was very very fun to use and if you like a bit bored of FIFA and just want an enjoyable card to use I'd definitely recommend to go and pick up this team of the season Akin Fenwa card so anyway guys as I've already said at the start of this video I will be doing the giveaway on Facebook um, so do go and leave a like on my Facebook page but anyway guys this has been the player review if you haven't enjoyed it I want to see more FIFA 18 player reviews on my channel don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe thanks for watching and see you next time